Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, before we get into this reading, as usual, I will be putting down some good old holy water. This is just going to be a general reading for what you need to hear right now, what may be coming towards you, what's going on. So, with that being said, we're going to get right into this reading, my beautiful Pisces. So, what is Pisces needing to know? What's going on right now at this time for my beautiful Pisces? Okay. What does Pisces need to know right now at this time? What's going on here? What does Pisces need to know? What's going on? This is some decks acting weird. What's going on here? What does Pisces need to know right now? Okay. What's Pisces needing to know here right now? So what is Pisces needing to know or hear right now at this time, please? Top to bottom. This deck's acting a little weird on me. Give me just a second, everybody. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. Okay. I know, I'm so picky about everything. So, Pisces, something here, it's like you're not meant to know something intellectually here, but you're meant to, well, it's like you're supposed to experience this through your intuition. So, this is about like trusting that you have some kind of uh, access to the Akashic Records, possibly. Or just some kind of higher wisdom okay so this is all about you needing to tune in and to trust your vibe right now at this time so I think we're gonna get a little bit here what is Pisces meant to know through Pisces intuition here what is Pisces what is this going on through the Pisces intuition what is this about what is this about? What is this about? Can we get more in depth of what this is about? So this is about basically you faced a lot of obstacles and you've overcome a lot of things in your life. And I guess intuitively you need to know that right now it's a time for you to have victory. And that you've learned, this is all about all these obstacles that you've overcome have been necessary um, for your growth, especially on an intuitive level. So this is about learning and mastering things through your setbacks and becoming a better, wiser, smarter person here as a result of these setbacks. So this is about you're spiritually growing. This is good. So this is for the Pisces who is in the middle of the spiritual growth here. So let's get a little bit deeper on this. A little bit deeper on this. What's going on? Let's a little deeper here on the spiritual growth here. What's going on with the spiritual growth here, please? Card from on the table. So as a result of like your spiritual growth, this is going to allow you to build on like solid foundations. Okay, so I feel like because you have spiritually evolved, you're going to be joined by others that are also spiritually evolved and possibly create something here. Maybe. Um, you know, you have a massage practice, 
you know, somebody that's got a Reiki practice and another person that's got a tarot practice. So you're going to be meeting like-minded people and you guys might actually rent like a studio or want rent a place to allow all three of your gifts to come in and to work together. So it's like somebody gets a Reiki treatment, they get a tarot reading, and then they go and get a massage. It's going to be something along the spiritual realm here on which you're going to be able to collaborate with something on somebody. And it's going to be... It's going to be taking shape for you in a very tangible sense. And these people that are going to be around you, um, they're people that have a lot of pride, all right? And they're going to be great supporters, great partners to work with. So this is about you learn. This is like you learning, like through your spirituality and then like reaching out into the world to help others through your spiritual growth. Which this, anytime you can do that, this is a, that's a huge blessing. And that's not to be taken lightly at all. So, yeah, there's a lot of expansions here. Um, and, and like a lot of expansive energy, a lot of opportunities. So you're on the right path towards your success. And you're going to have a lot of opportunities of abundance that are going to be for you. But you've got to trust yourself that you can make the good choices to co-create um, these situations and these relationships that are within harmony of yourself. So let's talk a little bit more to these opportunities that are coming towards Pisces. This is good. What are these opportunities that are coming towards Pisces? What are these opportunities that are coming towards Pisces, please? What are these opportunities that are coming towards Pisces, please? Let's try to talk a little bit more. Sure. My nose is running today. So this is for somebody that is literally a healer. This is for somebody uh, who is comfortable in their own skin. And this is all about, you've been healing yourself so that you can make a change and inspire the world. This is just a repeating message. It's very strong, though. Very powerful. So this is like you getting into the healing field. This is good. Oh, my goodness. I really like this. Yeah. Boy, I need a, a Kleenex. So, you may have been very well feeling a lack, like this is not going to come, all right? But you need to take a look again and change your perception so that you can bring focus into the results that you're trying to create. And this is about you being called to move away from the poverty consciousness here and open your eyes to the treasure that is going to be coming to you, all right? And it's going to be sudden. So this is all about you not, not staying in the state of fear, okay, with this, this poverty consciousness mind. So draw attention to what is going to grow for you at this time. So that's kind of a warning. So this is basically telling me that if you're not believing in yourself, that you need to stop that. Because that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So stop it right now. Move away from that conscious. When you stay in those kind of conscious thoughts, you'll always be in those. I meet so many people. I'll give you an example. My friend. She's, in, she, she's off disability. But it's like she can't move out of state. Because she's... She's going to lose her medical benefits. That is staying in a conscious, the poverty consciousness. And it's easy to get sucked into that as society 
because unfortunately that's what is set up but if you can switch your mindset off you'll realize that you don't need those things and something bigger will come to you at the right time but when you stay you know in that well I can't move because I'll lose all my benefits no 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 stop it take a risk when you take a risk bigger and better things happen because the universe doesn't want us to live in the state of the poverty consciousness it's not conducive and we stay in that state of poverty consciousness because we feel like we're not able to do it on our own and we're gonna lose those things so this is all about switching your mind frame and not focusing on that state of poverty consciousness so this is all about okay you may have um, a heart connection with somebody else so it looks like you're gonna have a partner here that's coming towards you that's gonna be in harmony with you and it looks like you're gonna be able to explore what is and what might be and somebody that's gonna be there for you this is about somebody that's gonna bring out the best in you and you're gonna do the same for this person's soul so this is like you got divine love coming through here too let's talk a little bit deeper on that let's talk a little bit deeper on this moving through some energy right now guys period energy oh my goodness so this is about there's going to be a lot of momentum here what was that hold on guys I got my window there's a lot of momentum that is going, this partnership. It's going to happen fast. It's going to be a huge transformation. And it's, um, you're going to be going to new territories with this person. You're going to be experiencing new things and possibly even new lands. But it's like you finally arrived at a destination with somebody here that's going to energize you. Somebody here that is very creative, inspired person, and somebody here that's going to be some kind of spiritual influencer. My goodness. This is a very powerful reading here. So there's a lot of enthusiasm here that it looks like is coming towards you here. So this is all about taking the risk. Okay, and trusting that with faith that anything is possible. So there's going to be a lot of different things that are going to be revealed to you each step along the way here. And you're meant to experience this regardless of where you go at in life. This is something you are going to experience and you're going to learn a lot. So let's get a little bit deeper on this energy. This is good reading. My goodness. My goodness, this is an excellent, excellent reading here. And who has more enthusiasm than anything is a page. Pages are youthful energies. They're new energies. So there's a lot of enthusiasm here when it comes to commitment. This is like... A, Everything is going according to plan here. So this is, you're going to be experiencing a, like a new beginning. And it's going to have a very good payoff on whatever this is. But you're going to have some tangible success here. The first signs of it. And it's going to be undeniable and it's going to be very evident. So is there anything else I can give Pisces right now at this time? Any other message I can give Pisces now at this time? Wow.
It's the card 20. And this is about judgment. This is the call. This is, this is all about your purpose and your true prosperity. So right now you are being called to act on your purpose and find your true prosperity. So this is all about you needing to know that you have everything to move forward with a purpose. Okay, so you need to have more of a authentic relationship with yourself and with your higher power and with others. Okay, so this is about you stepping forward into your true self and expressing that through your actions. So you need to trust that your life has a purpose and basically that you are enough Pisces and you always have been. So that's the final advice that I have for you, the final message. So if you want to claim this reading, which I think you everyone should do, you should like, comment, you can, do whatever you want. I'm going to leave it here and I wish you all the love and all the abundance and many blessings to you.